Good morning ladies and gentlemen. I am Nimita Sian. I am Boga Surender. It gives us immense pleasure to extend to you a very warm welcome on behalf of the Department of Microbiology Pondicherry University to the second day of the International Conference on Antimicrobial Resistance and Microbiome under Changing Climate. It gives us tremendous contentment to be the host for today's event standing in front of esteemed personalities and guests who has won accolades in their respective fields of expertise. The aim of this conference is to discuss a very pertinent thread. We are gathered here today to deliver recent developments and approaches in studying the implications of climate change on different microbiomes and the development of antimicrobial resistance. We have experts from various fields worldwide who will share their thoughts, knowledge and opinions with us. We wholeheartedly welcome all the delegates from across and within the country. We also thank all the sponsors and industrialists who have joined us today. It's a pleasure to have you all with us. We are delighted to welcome our Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Gurmeet Singh, Vice Chancellor of Pondicherry University, Professor S. W. Sandosh Kumar, Vice Chancellor, Amity University, Mumbai, Professor H. Pradap Kumar Shetty, Dean, School of Life Sciences, Pondicherry University, Puducherry, Professor Nick Volvulus, Faculty of Natural Sciences, Center for Environmental Policy, Imperial College, Lenton, Professor Shirani Srishkandan, Faculty of Medicine, Department of Infectious Diseases, Imperial College, Lenton, Dr. Anna Vera, Department of Infectious Diseases, Imperial College, Lenton, Dr. Anna Freeman, Center of Environmental Policy, Imperial College, Lenton, and Dr. Theodorus Gayakomis, Center of Environmental Policy, Imperial College, Lenton. To begin with today's event, I would like to invite Professor Joseph Selwyn, Head, Department of Microbiology, Pondicherry University, to share a few words of welcome. Please, sir. So, good morning, all. Most respected and our esteemed Vice Chancellor, Professor Krumit Singh, and esteemed dignitaries from the Imperial College London, as well as from the national institutions, head of the departments, professors, and distinguished colleagues. Dear participants, good morning all. So we all know that the COVID pandemic disturbed, like, disturbed everyone and shattered millions of lives globally. But the pandemic time, even we can witness that, even my personally, all of us took antibiotics. We do not know we are taking antibiotic against a viral infection is not the right choice. So that leads to tremendous increase in the antibiotic resistance, but that, that calculation is not uh, done. So did you know India is the largest producer of antibiotics, not only producer, the largest consumer of antibiotics. So we actually, along with Imperial College London, we come forward through a project that is known as, that is funded by Department of Biotechnology, Government of India and NERC UK. That project aiming to quantify the antibiotics, particularly the pollution come out, come out of the industries in Puducherry and Chennai. So this, this particular project or this bilateral collaboration is originally, it is taken forward by our Honourable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji and then the Prime Minister of UK, Boris Johnson. So they together having that uh, occurred. So every, every year, they are, every year means every cycle they are funding five projects. So the five projects worth probably 8 million, uh, uh, 8 million pounds. So with this, I start my welcome address. First and foremost, I welcome our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Krumit Singh. We, we all know that Professor Krumit Singh is the well-known and well-renowned academic administrator and an internationally reputed expert in the field of corrosion science and smart molecules. Among his many accolades, he was awarded with most prestigious award that is known as UCO GD, GD Birla Award in 2021 as well as Professor Kurmit Singh has awarded with many other awards including the Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry Award and IAM Medal by International Association of Advanced Materials Sweden. So actually here, Professor has published more than 180 public papers in his field and he is the most cited scientist in his domain. So uh, we are uh, happy that our Bondicher University is transforming in the first to five, the last five years time. Even I, we are, uh, I'm personally witnessing that the real industrialization of the university is happening. Lot of MOEs we made with uh, many international universities. Even I can personally say the Department of Microbiology have collaborated with the Taiwan universities, 
and even the, through the project we have the collaboration with the Imperial College and we recently have the collaboration with the University of Southeast, Southeast in Paris. So this, this is very common now, this internationalization of students exchange is very common and the university is moving forward with increasing its, uh, it, uh, <coughs> increasing its ranking and its, uh, its credibility. So all these things are happening because of our Honorable Vice Chancellor unique efforts. A godfather, a faculty come friendly administrator. We are fortunate to have our professor Kurmichin with us. He will be leading us to 2023 and further. So with this, on behalf of the organizing committee, I extend a warm welcome to our Honorable Vice Chancellor. We are delighted to have Professor S.W. Sandos Kumar. So he is a very renowned expert in the field of microbiome. So the microbiome we might have entered, we started our research maybe five years back, but Professor Sandos Kumar is in the US, actually he was a full professor in Loma Linda University for, for about 17 years. That time he was doing the research in microbiome, particularly human microbiota. So he has awarded many awards and reputations, particularly he was a member of American Society of Virology and Indian Science Congress Association, and he served two universities as, as vice chancellor. So now he is a, currently also he continues as adjunct professor in the University of California, and recently he awarded with Human sorry Humson Lifetime Achievement Award very recently. So I welcome you, sir, to this conference. <laughs> we are pleased to have our uh, beloved dean and our professor. H. Pradhaq Marshetti, Professor Pradhaq Marshetti is well known his for expertise in the field of food science and technology and food safety. He is working on the bioprospecting of microorganisms of, from fermented foods and he has published more than 100 high impact publications and dozen of PhDs and many more postdoctoral fellows he is, uh, is, uh, is being under his guidance. And he is a fellow of Royal Society of uh, Chemistry London and he is uh, recognized later as an international fellow by the same society. I welcome you, sir. <laughs> we also elected to have Professor Nicholas Balvolis. Uh, uh, he is a professor and deputy director for Center for Environmental Policy, Imperial College London. So Professor Nick is, is a well-reputed scientist in the field of environmental policy as well as he is a, he is academic head, in, academic head and lead in the, uh, in, in the area of environmental management. His research targets the interaction between the in, uh, interdependencies between the human and natural systems. He is also a member of environmental agents, environmental agency strategic monitoring review SMR advisory group. Nick has published Many papers, and particularly I, I have seen he has the Scopus Index of 44 H Index, and he produced 25 PhDs and guided more than 25 master students. And he was, uh, we are fortunate, he was uh, our collaborator as well as the lead principal investigator of UK team. So I welcome you, sir. <laughs> we are also delighted to have Professor Sirani Sriskandan a faculty of medicine, department of infectious diseases, Hammersmith Hospital in Imperia College, London. She is a part of MRC Center for Molecular Bacteriology and Infection and NIHR Health Protection Research Unit and as well in healthcare associ associated infection and antimicrobial resistance. She has scored more than 200 publications. She is mostly working on Streptococcus pyogenes and published many publications including Lancet Microbiology, sorry, Lancet Microbes. So she is also an expert in the uh, Grand Review panel, panel of M MRC and BBRC. I extend our, our I extend a warm welcome to Professor Srani Sriskantan. <laughs> welcome you, Madam. This time I extend our warm and hearty welcome to the team members, Dr. Theodorus, Dr. Anna Freeman, and Dr. Dr. Vieira. Welcome you all. I welcome our beloved HODs, head of the departments, our professors and faculty colleagues, non-teaching staff, administrative staff participants and dear students. So uh, particularly, I th this time I, I, I extend my, not only welcome, I extend, I record my sincere thanks to our MSc and PhD students for their tireless preparatory work to conduct this conference. I welcome the media and as well as the, uh, as well as the public gathering, I welcome all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we invite all the chief guests and dignitaries to come forward and inaugurate the event by lighting the Kutuvalak.
morning everyone respected dignitaries in the dais uh, our forerunner and a very senior vice chancellor whom we every time look upon professor gurmeet singh ji the chief guest from imperial college of london uh, professor shirani shishkan and uh, the policy maker of uk as i would call professor nick and my uh, beloved uh, friend professor pratap kumar shetty the dean of school of biological sciences the the main player of this international conference professor uh, dr joseph selvan my dear beloved faculty members and my dear student friends it's indeed a honor to stand before you for the second time for the same conference uh, after three and a half to four years in the same stage, sharing the same vice chancellor's part here. And I deem it as an honor because, you know, I should certainly say, mention about uh, Professor uh, uh, Gurmit Singh Ji, that he's a very uh, nationally and internationally renowned chemist a very good academician that uh, people like me uh, look upon. Thank you very much, sir. Coming to the part of this international conference, uh, the perfect nexus of uh, microbiome with antimicrobial resistance. So none other than India in Asia would be a very important part that could play a pivotal role both in these two arenas. Number one is microbiome, another one is uh, the AMR. Talking about microbiomes, I should say that since 2007 in the world, when the United States of America jumped into the bandwagon of uh, exploring the human microbiome, everybody will jump into As you all know that scientists, when one person starts one area of research, everybody will jump into that area because we are all scientists. And uh, finally, the Europeans went on and then Japanese went on and finally, only 10 years ago, a decade ago, the DBT uh, sent a white paper note to government of India stating that we should also be a part of this human microbiome uh, work. So this initiation, this, I could remember that it took upon when uh, uh, Professor Sir Vijay Raghun was there in DBT. And when they jumped into this venture, people started doing a couple of research here and there. And they were pretty much confused about, uh, they are confused about the, the sequence in which our, uh, the Indian microbiome organizes. Because microbiome itself got very confused on its own. Because there were a lot of bacteria, as we eat everything what we get, then finally the microbiome or the bacteria, they got confused themselves. And the scientists who came from abroad also became very confused because I know that one of our people, I was there in the US for 18 years and we had a, a, an interaction with CCMB Hyderabad in doing this research on diabetes and microbiome. And when we took a pilot study, people got very confused with a lot of uh, unwanted raw data which we were not able to clean up. But uh, nonetheless that people moved on, on, on and now Whatever you say, now they say microbiome, okay? When people are in good mood, they say it is micro microbiome. When people are in bad mood, they say it is microbiome. When you are obese, it is microbiome. And uh, recently there was a, a publication in uh, a New England Journal of Medicine which said that people who eat more chocolates, they get Nobel Prize. And you know, we are all scientists, we get very upset because we don't get any prize. Then ultimately, Eating chocolates will only end up in diabetes rather than Nobel Prize. But at the end of the day, they found that people who eat chocolate inculcate a special culture of bacteria within them, which is only seen in the Japanese gut. And that uh, brings about uh, more of metabolic aspect in bringing them so lean. So as we relate everything to microbiome, the other uh, intervening conjunction T-bone concept is the AMR, microbial resistance where people are venturing into each and every uh, uh, thing for antibiotics. So we look upon microbes, we get the antibiotic from the microbes, 
we kill the microbes and ultimately it is like a chicken in egg chasing ultimately we scientists are not even landing up in any part but at the end of the day i should certainly say there are certain labs in india which do a very important pivotal work and i should really congratulate uh, professor selvan where his lab has been there for more than more than two decades doing this kind of research in a very meticulous way and let us all give a round of applause for uh, <laughs> professor selvan so this applause doesn't go only to professor selvan because you know people like professor selvan professor santosh kumar uh, everyone are only uh, presenters of your research student research okay you guys are the one who work and we guys are the one who get the accolade okay so the nature is like that uh, who you are is what you are right so but i should certainly congratulate and thank all the students here okay i was interacting with a couple of phd students yesterday you know the zeal in which they have for research especially in in making our pondicherry central university which is one of the pinnacle of central universities in india and uh, headed by a very important dean here and each and every part is being meticulously done we have a, a very perfect dean uh, of uh, biological sciences here a perf perfect professor and head and the group that we we have here from uk people are there uh, you would see ma'am i do not know i am seeing her for the first time but i have read her papers in lancet which is the top tier uh, publications peer reviewed publications so bringing them as an amalgamation i should certainly thank the organizers and each and every one uh, for putting this in a very high high standard way in doing this deliberation of bringing in excess of microbiome to antimicrobial resistance i certainly envisage and pray god that this particular research and this group and this pondicherry university with all these interactions and collaborations will take us to great heights thank you very much thank you sir for your valuable words now i would like to invite professor h pradap kumar shetty dean school of life sciences pondicherry university to come forward and felicitate us please sir good morning and welcome to beautiful pondicherry especially for the guests who have come from outside respected honorable vice chancellor professor gurmeet singh professor santosh kumar guests from london uh, professor uh, nick and also uh, professor shirani and their colleagues who have come all the way from london and all the guests who have come from different places to attend this conference and all my colleagues heads of the departments and friends student friends especially always the pinnacle of the conference is the students conferences are meant for the students it's by the students for the students and that is the message what they take from any conference would actually stay a long time in their mind stimulating uh, you know uh, them to look more and more in depth into the science just now professor santosh kumar was mentioning about you know importance of microbiome research as well as antimicrobial research i will not go into the science part of it even, even though i am also a microbiologist interested in the similar aspects uh, i would i would uh, restrict my felicitations to say a few words about our school as well as uh, to the microbiology department uh, microbiology department is one of the youngest departments departments of our school as well as the youngest one of the youngest departments of the university although a decade has passed and uh, since then the department uh, you know it, it was started as a center and then became a department and it has made its mark both in terms of training of students as well as in terms of research uh, contributions in terms of funded projects in terms of papers and so on and so forth therefore and in addition to that you know this is the third uh, version of the wonders of the small i think the name is beautiful right the name for the conference series is very beautiful wonders of the small and the third one being the international has actually put a cake with a nice icing on the top and i would like to congratulate uh, professor selvin and the team for that i think we should have a round of applause for that coming to the school of life science our school is one of the largest schools of the university with seven departments and one department uh, in Uh, you know andaman islands 
and six departments in the university. And this uh, uh, you know, school contributes uh, substantially to the research and development activities of the university and in terms of publications, in terms of the patents and also in terms of the funded projects we get. Therefore, uh, the research activities of this school are very focused. You have uh, many very well-known scientists who were there and who are there currently. And also, I'm sure there are many, many more budding scientists who will come out of this uh, school and go out and you know, shine uh, you know, like stars. Therefore, I would request all of you to interact with the faculty and students of microbiology and other uh, departments of the school during uh, this uh, conference. I am sure that tomorrow it's a half a day conference. After the conference is over, I would request all of you to go to the campus and see the campus and uh, see the facilities and interact with the scientists, uh, uh, sorry, the faculty and uh, you know, scholars of, the, of your interest. And uh, during the conference also, please interact well, because this is what message is the one, whatever discussion you have is the one which, are, which you are going to carry with you and uh, you know, implement in your work and uh, you know, uh, do well in whatever you are doing. Collaborate with us. You are welcome to collaborate with us. You are welcome to part, spend a part of your uh, research in our labs. Therefore, we always welcome uh, collaborations uh, from all the you know, various institutions who have participated here. I would like to end uh, with uh, you know thanks to Professor Selvin for organizing this conference. Especially post uh, COVID, there were only few conferences which uh, you know are uh, you know which were organized in the university. Now anyway, university is opening up to conduct more and more conferences. But this is one of those big conferences to happen post COVID, and uh, I congratulate uh, Professor Selvin for this and. I would like to end by saying best of luck to all of you. Have a nice time in Pondicherry. Also take time, some time to out, uh, to go out and see Pondicherry, not just Pondicherry University. Also see some part of the Pondicherry, stay one or two days extra. And uh, you know, you, whenever you want to come back, as I've already told you, you're welcome. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity. Next, we would like to invite Professor Nick Wilwellers, Center for Environmental Policy, Imperial College, London, to come forward and felicitate us. Well, it's my great honor and uh, privileged to be invited in this, in this conference. Uh, my work is on uh, the environmental problems, so things like climate change, and, and the subject of the seminar, which is of the conference, which is AMR. You know, AMR is a global issue. It doesn't recognize any boundaries. So it really needs the collaboration across universities, across countries, to be able to allow humanity to, to not put at risk its future, its future uh, which, is, um, uh, which is at risk in this case. Uh, climate change is, is, is you all know, it's a, it's a major threat to our prosperity. But AMR is something maybe most people don't really uh, realize. It's equally as, 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 as challenging, and we really don't know much about it. So we need a lot of work, a lot of research to understand the importance of AMR and what we can do to, redu to reduce the risks to, to sustain the effectiveness of antibiotics, of medicines against diseases. Um, it, it's a great pleasure because this is a beautiful country, this is an amazing university, and also, as, as, as my speaker said before, this is the first time after COVID we get a chance to realize that we don't have to see people abroad just in front of the screen through Teams or Zoom, but actually we can, we can collaborate and work and meet physically and um, develop uh, relationships, professional and, and also personal. Um, again, thank you again for inviting me. It's an amazing uh, conference and uh, again, Professor Selvin is, is really behind all this uh, and I would like to thank him, but all of you for attending. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, I would like to invite Professor Shirini Shrishkantan, Department of Infectious Diseases, Imperial College, Linton, to come forward and felicitate us. Please, ma'am. So, um, good morning, everybody. It's a massive, massive um, pleasure to, for us to be here and I'd like to thank our honoured hosts and um, Professor Selvin for inviting us. As Nick said, it's really exciting to be at a conference face to face and to see so many of you here despite the weather and um, it's actually pretty exciting for me to see that, that you've, you are such a diverse audience and so many women who are interested in microbiology and climate and the microbiome, so fantastic, great news. Um, uh, the other thing, I, it's great for me to also be in an area of India where no one has problems pronouncing my name. So thank you for that too, on a personal note. 
So really excited to be here and it's going to be a great conference. In the UK, climate change was always on the national risk register. It was something that government was seriously worried about. But antimicrobial resistance was not on the national risk register until within the last decade. So it's been a bit of an uphill battle. The two are really important things. And together with the microbiome, I really hope that you have a great conference on these important subjects. And again, many thanks to uh, Professor Selvin and his wider team for being such great hosts to us. Thank you. Now, let us have the pleasure of listening to the honorable and great speaker, Professor Gurmeet Singh, honorable vice chancellor of Pondicherry University. Sir, we invite you to deliver the presidential address. Well, friends, uh, our the organizer, main organizer of the conference, for which I have a great appreciation, Dr. Joseph Selvan, professor and head of the Department of Microbiology from our university. And then uh, our guest who has come from Bombay, and he has had the pleasure of uh, coming here twice earlier, once during South Zone's uh, Vice Chancellor's Conference, when he was heading, heading the Satyabama University. And second one was during a similar conference. So D Professor A.W. Santosh Kumar, Welcome here. And our guest from uh, abroad, Professor Nichols Volvolis from Imperial College London, Professor Shirini Shirish Kandan from Imperial College London again. Uh, for the benefit of all the students here, you must be wondering uh, from Imperial College London, what is so great about it? Let me tell you there are two colleges there. Imperial College London is one and King's College is another one where there have been a lot of uh, staff who have written excellent books uh, in all subjects. In my own subject, there is a book by J.D. Lee, Inorganic Chemistry. Anybody connected with that, you cannot understand better unless you read J.D. Lee's book. It's, a, it's like Bible in that subject. So there are many other books which have come. So that's the important of, importance of some of those colleges. And uh, all my HODs, deans, and uh, Professor Shetty, of course, who is heading the largest school in our uh, university and all other heads are uh, colleagues, academic staff members, others, uh, above all, all the researchers and students, ladies and gentlemen and all guests. I was wondering, I am a chemist, what am I going to say about this? Though I said few things in a couple of other meetings in microbiology. When I was sitting here and listening to everybody, uh, I, my memories went back to uh, somewhere around 87, 88 when I was working on corrosion, electrochemical phenomenon at the surface and we used to use a lot of uh, anti-corrosive material. We used to develop in fact, we used to synthesize and then study. And when we were doing this, uh, during this work which was mainly on heterocyclic compounds, we came across a compound which was surfactants. So we moved on to that and surfactants, uh, when we were doing, there was another colleague of mine who said that they are going to be very important compounds. So let's see where else we can explore these compounds. And we realized, we realized that there is no area where surfactants are not being used. And gradually from there, that group of ours, I continued in whatever I was doing in uh, electrochemistry. This other group moved in from here, surfactants, then to uh, microemulsions, and from microemulsions to nanoparticles, and from nanoparticles to bio nanotechnology, and gradually to targeted drug delivery. And when I was doing my work in the same area in electrochemistry, I came across certain bacteria. I started something on thiobacillus, not my area as a chemist. I would not uh, jump into that. But then I went to a biologist and uh, in the botany department and zoology both. They said it's not very difficult. You can have a laminar flow. And we, have, we used to have very little money during those days. My first pro science project that I got from UGC, the value was only 7,500. So, Money was a big problem during those days. Of course, subsequently we got crores of uh, amount and we had everything in our lab, but gradually it was built. What I'm trying to tell you is that when we were doing all this, 
they said it's very simple. You have a uh, laminar flow and uh, put your metal here and see the effect of all this. But I realized that a slight change in the conditions would absolutely change your results. Then I decided, no, I will not be able to do it. I took the help of our botanist and zoologist friends. And I could do some work on microbes, resulting thereby that we found that there are many microbes who are able to eat bacteria. Then gradually we realized that there are many microbes which are eating cement, which are eating concrete. And that is where we led to the corro corrosion in this uh, ceramics and other materials uh, in jetties. What is it that is destroying our jetties? And what kind of a cleaning is required? So what I'm telling you is gradually we started realizing that microbes are very important and this requires a specialized department. We never had anything called microbiology department. We had botany department, zoology department, chemistry, physics, of course. And uh, then a team of us got together and then we forced, we said, no, we should have this department on its own, its own right. Then gradually a department of microbiology came back in late 70s and early 80s. We said this is a department which needs importance in all colleges also. In Delhi University we have about uh, 87 colleges, uh, constituent colleges. Constituent colleges means they are taken as a part of the University of Delhi. So we could introduce microbiology as a subject, independent department in colleges. What we wanted was that every college should have this department, but unfortunately the thinking amongst the science administrators were that no, this department doesn't require, this subject doesn't require an independent department. But gradually it developed. Now, over the years, when we realize that you name an area, agriculture, you cannot do wonderful work unless you have the backing of microbiology. Uh, medicines, you can't do this. Anything, pain technology, or for that matter, your health-related issues, name an area, you will find the microbiology is going to be a very important subject. And in medical colleges, walk across to JIPMER, you will find that they have a separate microbiology department, big department, with huge money, and they are not able to do that much amount of work because they don't get enough good researchers. Where is the problem in that? Because we do not have very many departments across. There are very few universities where microbiology department is there in its own right. Very few colleges where this is going to be there. Yes, we have a paper. We have one of the papers in these honors courses related to microbiology. So what I'm trying to highlight here is that it, that it is through this kind of conferences that we can grow the subjects and we can highlight to the administrators that this is one area which requires very urgent attention if the science in our area, science in our country has to grow in the right direction. Do you think we have done very well without the help of this? We have, we have made enormous progress towards food production, milk production, uh, towards our uh, medicinal research just because we had the backing of this. You go to agricultural universities, go to agricultural colleges, you will find how much of work they do by using, making use of microbiological techniques. And a common man, like uh, when you go around, you will find, go to any doctor, we have a doctor sitting here. Any problem you have, these days it's a tendency, they will straight away give you a set of uh, antibiotics that take this for five days. When we buy antibiotics, what do we do? I am just leaving it, uh, you can survey this. We will take antibiotics uh, one day, second day the thing will subside, and we'll say, well, fine, we are okay now. And then we'll give up. Now this is where microbiologists have to play their own role in highlighting this to everybody, that when we prescribe it for five days, please take it for five days. Basic principle is that when you take something, it kills the bacteria, kills the microbe, doesn't allow to grow, but there are some who will survive and they will develop a resistance to that. Unless you take another dose at the right time, they will not be killed, they will grow further. 
and if you don't take it, it will multiply and you will have a resistance in your body to that. So you, instead of curing, you will have the resurfacing of this. Such fundamental things we are not able to do, not able to convince our population. They will say two dose, three tablets, four tablets are enough, one area. Second, when we get, give antibiotics, we may be requiring only 20 mg. But in order to put that 20 mg, what the doctor will tell, take these capsules, which is 500 mg. So that that required amount reaches that area. That is where the question of targeted drug delivery came, on which our group did a lot of work in early 90s, in fact. Now, targeted drug delivery has become important because we do not want the extra dose to go. So this is a very important area which has emerged in bio-nanotechnology area. Now, where are we moving from one side? I gave you an example of from surfactants to microemulsions and nanotechnology, nanobiotechnology to all this. This is what is required that this kind of a conferences which our department has organized, this is where I give you one idea, you give one idea, you interact with one another, you will find what is required for our universities, for our society, and which area we have to develop this. India is the largest producer of generic medicines. Do you think we have been able to do it straight away out of uh, some magic? No. We have done enough work in that, and that is where it has took, taken us to that particular platform, that we are able to do this. So microbiology is a very, very important area. But unfortunately, in our country, I'm saying, I don't know, elsewhere, uh, story continues to be same. But it is not being given the importance that this particular subject deserves. So therefore, once this uh, conference is through, I would urge that you bring out a recommendation so that we give it to DBT, DSC, highlighting that this is the one which has to be there in all universities and in all colleges where science is being taught, so that there can be a better collaborative work. I gave you an example that I could do this with a great difficulty with the help of other departments. So this is what is needed. Bring out a paper in the form of a recommendation, highlighting the importance of this, and uh, we can force our ideas on the science administrators uh, in order to have this subject growing in the right direction to the right extent. So I compliment uh, Dr. Joseph Selvan and uh, all his departmental colleagues for organizing a conference of this magnitude. Uh, I'm very happy to see the audience here. Invariably in a science conference, uh, the first day is very, very well attended. Second day, it thins down. And third day, probably uh, there are senior lots who are a little more serious would be there, but uh, nearly full auditorium particularly after COVID when we were almost getting used to addressing empty chairs, it's a very heartening feature. And this straight away speaks about the success of the conference. So I am delighted that this conference has been organized and I am equally confident that it will bring out a right kind of recommendation, highlighting the importance of this. Every medical college thrives to have good microbiologists, they are not able to get it. And when we sit in uh, DBT committees, to assess colleges for their performances, you will be shocked to see that we get about, uh, out of 150 applications, five or 10 at best, which will have microbiology. And we will always say, this subject is in a very nascent stage, so let's have some soft corner for them and let's encourage them. Why should we have that? Why should we not have it in full thrust, the way chemistry, physics, and other subjects are there? So I am uh, absolutely thrilled that this has been done. It's the second in the series, and I hope the department shall continue and shall continue to invite our friends from abroad so that this area uh, grows in our country in the right direction, in the right manner. And uh, whatever best we can do for this, uh, please take it that this will be done straight away without any problems. My advice to the youngsters who are sitting here, that please interact with the experts here you don't only listen to their lecture. After the lectures, you don't get enough time at times to interact with them during their tea, during their lunches, dinners. Don't allow them to have lunch and dinner at peace in a comfortable manner. Interact with them as much as you can. 
get your ideas cleared with this kind of an interaction in a conference like this, which is very well attended, you will have a right direction to chalk out your way that which area to move in in the uh, research field ultimately that you will be moving into. So wonderful work done. My congratulations and I wish the conference a grand success which is already there. Thank you very much, please. Now I would like to invite Dr. Maheshwaran Mani, Professor, Department of Microbiology, Pondicherry University to deliver the vote of thanks. Uh, good morning to all uh, on Department of Microbiology and the Organizing Committee. So I am very much uh, delighted to propose this vote of thanks. Uh, on this uh, beautiful day, uh, we are so happy to have our uh, hearty, uh, beloved uh, Vice Chancellor, Professor Gurmit Singh. Uh, so on behalf of microbiology, we are extremely thankful to you, sir. Thank you so much for uh, keep guiding us, uh, for all the support, and we are very much excited to listen to your motivating speech. Thank you so much, sir. Um, and uh, at this beautiful day, we are also so much honored to have uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, Santosh Kumar, Vice Chancellor of Amity University. Uh, we were excited to listen to your talk. Uh, you know, actually, I was listening and enjoying the talk, especially when you were talking about microbiome and chocolate. I was excited. And we are eagerly looking forward to listen to your talk in this uh, upcoming conference. And thank you so much for being with us for today, this morning. Um, so next, I want to thank our uh, beloved uh, Dean of Life Sciences, Professor Pratap Kumar Sethi. He's always one among us. Working with him is fantastic, very easy. He has helped us in many moments, and it's doing research with his guidance was a great experience for me, as well as for the entire School of Life Sciences. Thank you so much to Professor uh, Pratap Kumar Sethi. And uh, uh, I also take this opportunity to thank the delegates, uh, Professor Nick, uh, Professor Sirani, and his team for being here with us, and we are also eagerly looking forward for your talk in this uh, conference. Uh, I also want to thank all the student participants, uh, volunteers, media friends, and each and every one of you who worked hard and make this event happen. I also take this opportunity to thank all the faculties, HODs of Foundation University for being here. And last but not the least, I want to thank all the audience for making this event a wonderful event. Thank you all, thank you so much, and have a great day.